All right, let's talk about one of my favorite topics. MSPs, managed service providers. Um, so the first thing you're gonna say, isn't that the competition? And the answer is, very well could be. Also, they could make great, great partners. So are they comp or are they a partner? And the only way to figure this out is to have dialogue with them and talk with them. First, let's talk about MSPs and kind of the two groups that we see them falling into, right? You've got group number one over here, which we're gonna call the small guy group. It's typically two guys and they're cruising along in their truck. Um, smaller guys, generally a lifestyle type of a job. Uh, these guys work themselves silly. They really work really hard. They can make really great partners as cloud has come on. A lot of these smaller MSPs are looking at how do we get into this business and how can we start offloading a lot of what we're doing and move our customers to the cloud. And most importantly for these guys, they want to retain those customers. Then on this side, you've got your really large MSPs, right? These guys are typically regional, whereas these guys are typically local. And the regional guys, you know, when you get into the larger MSPs, these, these companies are certainly competition. They, they are, if they're doing anything in the cloud today, they're most likely doing it with the hyperscaler. Uh, we need to be very cautious with engaging these types of customers who are working with these regional MSPs, the larger guys because they are competition about nine out of 10 times. Although we do have some that are partners, it's kind of a rarity. What are these guys generally delivering? Your, your small guys over here are still typically selling the customers some hardware in the customer's office, right? And that office could even be a home. If it's a home, it's too small. Um, but that's really what they're doing. They're, they're bringing to their customers hey, we'll take care of your hardware. They're seeing that customer maybe on a regular basis, maybe through a block of hours they charge them. But the key here is these guys generally have become the trusted advisor to the customer. And most of them are either really loved or really hated. The key for us is we can work hand in hand with them. They can hold, they can maintain ownership of their client and we can provide the platform while they give them the support. So there's a really good marriage for us here, guys. Over here, again, bigger scale, we're, we're generally gonna be displacing these guys. They're typically running co-location or they're already in the cloud with hyperscalers, right? Uh, these are the big ones we've talked about in earlier courses where they've got a 24 by 7, 365 help desk. They're typically handling all the patching and the updating of the server infrastructure. They are that single phone call, maybe a, a very important vendor, vendor to the customer, but also probably not as much a trusted advisor just because of the size and scope of what it is that they do. In short, when we're dealing with MSPs, ask the question of your customer or your prospect, how do, you, how do you consume your IT today? Who helps you with your IT today? If it's a local MSP, what's the relationship like? How long have you been with them? You know, are they gonna help you provide a path to the cloud is always an important question to ask. And then we can work together with them hand in hand, or you know, at, at times we can come in and displace them. Our goal is always to work with them because it makes for smoother transitions and you know, helps us get that customer on track onto their new services with us. So that's a little bit on MSPs today. Thank you very much.